Hello everyone, welcome back to Unheard. It's time to dive in a more complex scenario, apparently. This seems like, uh, oh my god, there's so many rooms. The bombing that occurred last year at the central booking complex downtown. A gruesome tragedy in a crowded police station. Twelve people, twelve victims. Now, what's your take on this? I don't know, I just hope that the audio, the, the scene length isn't that long <laughs> oh it isn't okay it's only five minutes all right here we go hello sergeant may i please have my phones back name dwight yeah let me check here theft case huh uh, no can do your phone's evidence in an ongoing case so uh, you'll have to follow procedure but they're mine all right what do i need to do who told you to come here ask them to write you a release form an officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. <laughs> officer Schrader, you working the night shift tonight? Well, <laughs> what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to this bust you, ridiculous. you still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law-abiding citizen. Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Well, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug, how's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Don't act like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. I just feel like those names. Hi, in. Officer Schrader. You don't think you could ask around and see when Chip's gonna get released for me, do you? Oh, so you own the place now, do you? Find out yourself. Mickey, glad to see you, Officer. Nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're daddy, Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, until you left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the sea monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Docker Cassidy, burning the midnight oil, I see. And wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I. Uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me at this time of night? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You. Phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gotta pat me down, too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You'll get him back when you leave. Oh, I got plenty of names already. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. So, he's probably talking to Dwight. He's heading towards Dwight. Because Dwight... And a phone. There's a lot of things going on here. They're talking, but... Oh, you're heading in there. Okay. Is there anything going on here? Nothing, really. That geezer's phone is ringing. So that's Dwight's phone. All right, so nothing else happens here. Hello, officer. Have you seen my phone? Oh, you again? That's got to be a record. Why yeah, I. Uh, why are you here? Seem to have misplaced why are it you again. Here? Oh, shoot. Um, yeah, that that's a thing. All right, so let's head in and see what happens here. Let's follow Jessica. Who are you? Are you done? It was just a phone. Guy didn't even want. <sighs> are you done? It was just a phone! 
I didn't even want to press charges. But you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft. You broke the law. What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about an eye at something like this on night patrol. You're wasting everybody's time. I've had just about enough of you. Thankfully, you won't be my problem much longer. Somebody paid your ticket. I'm in no hurry. Though, can't say the same for the guy whose phone I pinched. He looked like a real complainer. Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you yet. Come on in. Well, speak of the devil. Ah, uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. But you still gotta fill this out. No. For crying out loud, it's not like I went on a killing spree. There. Ta-da. Signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm-mm. You two, we're going to reception. Wait. Mickey! Glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're Daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, until you left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the Sea Monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Doctor Cassidy, burning the midnight oil, I see. And wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I. Uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me at this time of night? Raining cats and dogs outside. Let me call us a cab. Just a sec. All right, should be here in a few minutes. Now, you gonna tell me what's going on? I was at the Mountain Hotel when I saw that chump hanging outside. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. Didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. <laughs> Ow! Shit for brains. How many times I gotta tell you? You can't make banks stealing phones. Well, I just thought, you know, practice makes perfect. Unbelievable. You really are a moron. Ugh, whatever. Look here. I'm gonna show you something. See? This here's a phone I stole on the bus. I don't get it. You call me stupid for stealing flip phones, and then you steal one yourself. <laughs> that piece of shit probably ain't even worth ten bucks. Wait and see, my friend. Wait and see. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, come on, it's me. Oh, don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you gotta help me out. I'm in a real bind. Got arrested. Solicitation, yeah. Long story short, was on a business trip and got a little antsy. You know the feel. Uh, keep this between us, though, will ya? I called because you're the only one I can trust. You've got to help me. Cops asking me for a grand to make this whole thing go away, else I'll be processed first thing in the morning. My own money? Think I have any? A dirty cop took my wallet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here talking to you, now would I? Anyway, you need to wire the money to my friend's bank account. One six five nine eight seven two six two six. Name's Mickey. Ocean. Yeah, I like the sea. Uh, you'll be doing me a real solid, a real solid, and I'll pay you right back as soon as I get out. Thirteen hundred big smack olas. The extra three hundreds for your trouble. Uh, nah, nah, don't mention it. Friendship's worth its weight in gold nowadays. Uh, anyway, old copper's back. Catch you later. You really think it'll work, Mickey? He totally bought it. Patience, my friend. Patience. We'll get the money soon enough. Oops. Sorry uh, about that. It's fine. Who is this? Nice phone. That was something else. Something else? I'll show you something else. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. <laughs> what's a phone Chip. to you, huh? This phone ain't worth squat if you're gonna just sell it. It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone. It's access. Access to the owner's... Ah, never mind. You're too stupid to understand all that. What did I tell you, huh? There's my Damn, money! Damn, Mickey, you the man! I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this! Huh. Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Just dial it. Alright. So...
So Chip detonated the bomb. Do you do you still? Yeah, okay. So we know that Chip Chip detonated the bomb. Um, yeah, let me check. Let's go and take a little little looksy around then, because who is that? You're s you're snoring. When are you waking up? What do you do? I don't know. There's another phone there. Oh. What are you in? Anybody here? Anybody still breathing? Well, would you look who's awake? Quiet in there. Hey, come on, let me out. What are you in for, huh? Let's see. Public intoxication. Beautiful. Why they even bother? Ah, oh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. I didn't even have that much. How come I passed out? Somebody slipped something in my drink. And still feel groggy. Yeah, yeah, I've seen plenty of guys like you, all claiming they didn't drink that much. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that was loud. Sure, I'll bet you were totally dry in college or whatever. Having trouble walking straight. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. See, more proof that you shouldn't drink in your condition. This way, let's get you released. Oh, he got drugged. You know, for a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, Wait. you still hit a government Why are you here. To have this place How are you here? Okay, I don't know who that was. And also, leg of his. That's a gift for my boss too. There's stuff going on here. Who are you? I mean, setting up road. It's just you and me now, Sting. What are you guys trying to pull, Sting. Huh? I mean, setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Now that you mention it, Tucker has been acting strange lately. Before he brought you in, he was up at the Mountain Hotel. Picked up a drunk. Guy still lying and holding. Mountain Hotel? What are the odds? What's that drunk look like? Like any other dirty drunk. Had himself a good limp, though. His leg, was it prosthetic? And uh, did he have a scar on his right eye? And how do you know all that? You know the guy? Interesting. Doug's behind this, no question. Doug? Why's that? Earlier today, our boss informed us he was going to choose his successor. Only me, Doug, and Kent have a shot, really. Now, Doug asked Tucker to lock me and Kent up. It's so obvious. He wants to make sure he's the only candidate. Damn, you're telling me that drunk was an underboss? He took a bullet for the boss, and that's how he lost his leg. That prosthetic leg of his, that was a gift from our boss, too. Got anything else for me? I gotta get to that hotel. Actually, there is something else. I just heard from Martin that it's highly likely Raven's about to resurface. Raven? Get out of here. If Martin said so, there's gotta be some truth behind it. You've heard of Raven, too? Only rumors. Word on the street is Raven kills anyone who gets a look at his face. Once he's made enough money, he runs off and gets himself a new identity. No one even knows what he looks like. Holy shit! That's cold, man! Don't tell me you're Raven! If I was him, you'd be the first to go. <laughs> Just cut this bullshit and get me out of here. Come on! But what am I gonna tell Tucker? Uh, let me worry about him. Let's go. All right, so far... The whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, Why? you still hit a government... Why are you to have this place How are you here? So far, I think... I think maybe, um... Kint brought the bomb in his prosthetic leg. I got no evidence for that yet, but... I am going to... 
check out those guys. See if they have anything to say to us. Keep an eye on them. It was just a car accident, Captain. Did that really require bringing us all the way in like this? I got somewhere I need to be. Yeah, are you picking on Doug? Quiet, both of you. I'm doing this by the book. And now that we're back at the station, I'm gonna make you take another breathalyzer. We blew at the scene and it came back negative. What more do you want? You gonna let us go or not? Congratulations, loudmouth. You're up first. Follow me. You, stay right here. All right, we're going to stay with Doug then. And after that, we're going to follow Martin and Blade. I ain't got all day. When is this going to be over? I ain't got all day. You're calling? Who are you calling? Who are you calling? Where are you calling? Tucker, it's me. I'm at your place. Where are you? Well, let's talk later. See you at the meeting. Oh, Tucker's coming towards you now. Uh -uh. Oh, wait. What's your name? Uh-uh. Hey, babe. You knew? Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me... Like I said, I'll take it from here. Hmm, understood. Let's talk in my office. Oh, God. Are they dirty? Take a seat, please. Now, what the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Picked up Sting and Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? All three of us in the same police station. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent? Kent, he... He couldn't run even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kent in a VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. Saw an opportunity, so I had him booked for public intoxication. No shit. Huh. Why'd Kent get there so early? You think the boss told him before the rest of us? I didn't see anyone else there. What's your boss look like? <laughs> nice try. Only us three have ever seen our boss in the flesh. He likes to keep a low profile, you know? I wasn't trying to trick you. Just curious is all. Yeah, but something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, yet I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Looked pretty sauce to me. Didn't even wake up on the ride over. Must have had himself a whole bottle. Or five. Yeah, well, this guessing game won't get us anywhere. You keep an eye on those two there, will you? We can't let anything go wrong now. I'm gonna go see the boss. Okay, I'll see you out. Alright, so Tucker isn't Raven, Dog isn't Raven. You know for a fact my test came back clean as a whisk. Maybe Dwight is. Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you again. Yeah, we saw that. Then he he's he's going to walk away. My phone, my phone. He's heading into the bathroom. Let's follow him. What's he gonna do in the bathroom? Anything? Alright. What are you trying to do? God damn it. Who are you calling at a time like this? Answer the fucking phone. Um, who?
Hello? Anyone? Hello? You didn't do anything in the bathroom? Well, you tried to make some phone calls, but that's not a help. Beautiful. Why do you even bother? Oh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time. Oh, you're leaving. Oops. Sorry uh, about that. It's fine. You're leaving. So oh, who? Wait, who? Dwight, Trader, Chip, and Mickey aren't. All right, so let's go and check what's going on in this room then. Haven't figured that out yet. Martin and Blade. So maybe Blade is Raven. Oh no, he's going to take the breath breathalyzer. Let's go and check them. Uh, I do think that that Kent brought the bomb in his leg. They put it in there. He doesn't know. He didn't do it. But what the hell were you thinking? Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. What? All right, I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. Oh, wait. Conference room. Go in there and stall him for as long as you can. Conference room? Why? What did he do? Car accident. Fake car accident. Only it didn't seem so fake to him. And I need you to keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do, just don't you let him it. leave. Roger that. Word on the street is Raven's in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, but I'll fill you in once I have more. All right. All right. I've... So how do you do, Blade? Did you say anything? No, you just waited. Okay. All right. I've sent someone in to stall Doug. Now tell me what you know. But make it quick. That car accident you staged won't buy us much time. Yeah, Doug was already getting suspicious. Okay. How much do you know about Raven? I've heard all sorts of things. Some of them are so Hollywood blockbuster, I'm not sure what to believe anymore. I've been undercover as part of his organization for two years. Everything you've heard about him is true. After he pulls off a major heist, he wipes out his crew and gets a new identity. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted, murdered his guys and scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That explains why I can't find a single person who knows what this psycho looks like. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to positively ID Raven if he was standing right in front of me. But if this precious pattern of his means anything, we might have a chance of nabbing him tonight. He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running the rackets in this city the past few years. So when he calls a meeting with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, I'm guessing he's looking to tie up loose ends. Even if he claims it's to pass on the Empire to one of his lieutenants. No wonder Doug's throwing a hissy fit about getting up to that hotel. He wouldn't miss this get-together for the world. He's been wanting more territory for a while now, and he thinks he's got a shot of the crown. That's why he's so anxious. The rest of the underbosses are probably headed there as we speak. Raven's supposed to show up later. You don't think by any chance that Doug is Raven? I don't think he is, but I can't say for certain. A lot of guys will be there. Any one of them could be him. If we sweep up the whole group, we can sort him when we book him. I guess we'll see. Okay, you head up there with Doug. I'll put together a squad to back you up. Got it. Now let's make this real. Fucking cops! You ain't got shit on me! You know for a fact my test came back clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, you still... I, uh, to have this place Are you here? 
Wait, what? What did you say there, Dwight? Hello, officer. Have you seen my phone? Oh, you again? That's got to be a record. Yeah, I. Uh, you seem to have misplaced Are it you again. Here? All right. So as far as I know, these are probably not Raven. They are not Raven because they're all dead. I'm not sure if they are dead. It leaves two of them. So my first, my first, um, I don't even know how you say that. I think it's Dwight. I found the truth. What the? I did it. First try. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I think the boss told him before the rest of us? Yeah, something's up. I've seen Kent drink for years, yet I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. I'm having trouble walking straight. Ooh, legs are a bit heavier than I remember. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? What Raven's doing? Got what he wanted? Murder his guys? And scum the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. Oops! Uh, sorry about that. Oh, something else? I've got this! Huh. Here. He's only got one number. Who cares? Just dial it. He's made himself nothing short of a fortune for the rockets in the city the past few years. So when he calls me with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, I'm guessing he's looking to tie up loose ends. I was at the Mountain Hotel. I saw that chunk outside. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. Didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. God damn it, who are you calling at a time like this? Answer my fucking phone. Yeah. That was an awesome one. I see. Does it strike you as odd that these situations seem to be full of coincidences? What? Sorry, I meant great job. What, what do you mean, coincidences? It doesn't make any sense. You're progressing through these examples at a steady pace, but I knew you could crack them. All right, on to the next one. Tell me, detective, do you enjoy the theater? Sure, but not today. So thank you very much for watching Unheard, and I will see you next time.